Hello Techies! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Lee's Tech. Ayan, so for today's video is meron naman tayong another comparison. And of course, again, it is coming from your requests. Okay, so excited ako ngayon i-compare si Oppo A5s kay Infinix S4. Itong dalawang smartphone na to ay mga bagong release lang this year 2019 as well. Actually, magsisale nga pala ulit ang Shopee ng Infinix S4. I'm not sure if it's 25 pero yun, yun yung sabi nila. And so excited ako guys, alamin kung ano yung similarities and differences nila since di ba pareho lang din naman silang inter-level smartphone. So, ayan na, nakaka-excite techies. So, abangan ninyo sa video na to ang comparison ko ng specs nila, even sa design nila and sa gaming and sa battery performance nila and most especially guys, sa cameras nila. Ayan. So, I hope you guys will watch till the end. Thank you by the way for your time for watching this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I must subscribe to and hit the bell button to be the first to see my latest uploads. Alright, that is so let's start this comparison now. So as you can see, Techies. Both of these smartphones have the same 6.2 inches screen display. Pareho na rin silang may fingerprint scanner, pareho silang may face unlock, and may triple camera si Infinix S4, pero si A5s is dalawang rear cameras lang. Okay, pag-uusapan natin yung cameras nila later, but then now, let's talk about the display first. Actually, both of these smartphones back are made out of uh, superior plastic, and for their front naman guys is glass. And as you can see, pareho silang vivid yung screen display nila. Mas bright nga lang para sa akin yung display ni Infinix S4. Kahit nga hindi pa siya naka-high talaga yung brightness niya, maliwanag na siya. Now, if we are going to talk about their thickness, techies, si Infinix S4 is 7.9mm. Mas manipis siya kumpara kay A5s kasi si A5s it has 8.3 millimeter and sa weight din naman nila guys mas sarigat si A5s kaya compare ko yun kay Infinix S4 at ito teki sobrang gani to eh nagduda nga ako nung dumating to sa akin nakala ko walang laman na smartphone yung box niya kasi sa sobrang gaan niya kung pag-uusapan naman natin yung resolution nila pareho silang may 1520 by 720 pixels and now when we are going to talk about their OS and other features these two smartphones have different OS as well so actually si Infinix S4 guys is high na siya, while sa A5S Oreo operating system pa siya. And then when it talks about their chipset and processor, these two have the same octa-core processor, but they are different when it comes to chipset. Kasi si Infinix S4 is Mediatic Helio P22, and si A5S is Mediatic Helio P35. Ayun. So, magkaiba lang yung version nila. Pero pareho silang octa-core processor. And now when it talks about their RAM and ROM, Infinix S4 Techies is meron siyang 6GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. Mas malaki-laki ito. Kung ikukumpara ko to kay A5s. Si A5s kasi is meron siyang 3GB RAM and 32GB internal storage. So makikita mo na yung advantage ng isa sa isa. Sa batteries naman Techies, actually, malaki din naman ang batteries nila. Kaso nga lang, mas malaki yung battery ni A5s kasi meron siyang 4,230 mAh. While si Infinix S4 naman is meron siyang 4,000 mAh. And now to know their battery performance, tinest ko sila techies had tried to play PUBG for 30 minutes. 100% battery life. Si Infinix S4 is naging 94% na lang. And si A5s naman is naging 90% na lang. It is so surprising techies kasi ito yung mas malaking battery sa kanilang dalawa. But then, sa 30 minutes of draining their batteries is naging mas malaki-laki pa konti yung remaining battery life capacity ni Infinix S4 kung i-compare natin yan kay A5s. Na pagdating naman sa heating nila, tinest ko rin yun, before ko silang dinain, yung heating ni Infinix S4 is 29 degrees. And as si A5s naman is 28. Na after 30 minutes of draining and then tinest ko naman yung heating nila, at the same time, ayan, naging 34 degrees Infinix S4. 
while si Oppo A5s Techies is naging 40 degrees. So, nakikita nyo na ngayon yung difference sa heating nila. Mas mainit si A5s, which is really true. Kasi mas mainit na siya sa kamay kaysa kay Infinix S4. Ayun, yun lang din yung na-amaze din ako sa smartphone na to kasi hindi siya mabilis uminit talaga. Ayun, sa so pagdating naman sa Speed Techies, I tried to open few different apps like Granny, ML, PUBG, Fruit Ninja. And then sa Granny, ayun, makikita nyo dyan... Sabay silang nagbukas. Ayan, so sa second app naman, Techies, makikita nyo dyan. Na nauna si Infinix S4 kaysa kay A5S. And sa third app naman, which is PUBG, makikita nyo dyan na Okay, this time, sa A5S naman yung nauna, Techies. So, oh, ang gandang laban na ito. Sa 4th app, Techies, pakikita nyo dyan na... Ayan, si Infinix S4 yung nauna. So, makikita mo dyan na mas madaming apps na mas naunang nag-load si Infinix S4 kaysa kay A5S. Ayan, wow! Nakaka-impress to si Infinix S4. Ayan, so... Now that we're done checking their speed, puta naman tayo sa camera. As far as the cameras are concerned, si Infinix S4 is meron siyang 32 megapixel front camera. While sa A5S naman, Techies, is meron siyang 8 megapixel. Ayan. So, malayo yung gap nila sa front cam. Now, how about sa rear cam? Si Infinix S4, Techies, the first cam niya, Techies, is meron siyang 13 megapixel. And the second cam is meron siyang 8. The third is 2 megapixel. Ayan. So, eto naman si A5S, meron siyang 13 megapixel primary shooter. Then, secondary shooter niya is 2 megapixel. And now, sa front cam nila, Techies, makikita mo dyan na magkaiba talaga yung kuha nila. Si Infinix S4 is may pagka-realistic siya kung i-compare ko yun kay A5S. Kasi sa A5S naman dito, makikita mong ini-enhance niya yung skin texture ng image. Mas naging lighter siya kung i-compare natin yung kay Infinix S4. Pagdating naman sa rear cam, makikita nyo yung mga sample shots ko. Lay-lay lang ng gap ng camera performance na A5S kay Infinix S4. Infinix S4, guys, is napakaganda yung kuha ng camera niya. Enhanced yung kulay. Vibrant siya and realistic. Hindi siya smooth katulad ni A5S. Kung makita mo, even sa food, makita mo si A5S yung smoother yung outcome kaysa kay Infinix S4. Ayun na guys! So, kayo pa rin yun. Bahala ko sa kanila yung bet nyo sa camera performance. Sa akin, mas bet ko yung kuha ni Infinix S4 kung i-compare ko kay A5S. And now that we're done talking about their camera performances, now let's go directly to their gaming performance. Makikita nyo dyan, silang dalawa is low graphic setting lang yung kaya nila. But then, makikita mo kung saan sa kanila yung nag-stand out. So, makikita mo pa rin na mas maganda yung outcome at graphic quality ni Infinix S4 kung compare ko kay A5S. Mas maganda, mas punchy yung graphic quality ni Infinix S4 kung i-compare ko yun kay A5S. So, nakikita niyo naman dyan. But both are actually playable. Medyo may mga minor lags lang ng konti. So, yun na techie sa gaming. Pareho silang okay, playable. Pero mas bet ko yung graphic quality ni Infinix S4 compare ko yun kay A5S. Ayan, so, finally, we're done comparing their specs, their performances sa battery, sa speed, and sa gaming. And again, nasa inyo pa rin yun. Ang decision ko sa kanila yung bet nyo. Pero sa akin, for final verdict, napakapaw pa rin talaga sa Infinix S4 sa akin. Wala, na-appreciate ko lang siya, guys, kasi majority sa test ko is nangunguna talaga siya, which is actually good. Yun nga lang, yung hindi ko alam, hindi ako sure sa durability niya since ba Bago pa lang to. Hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan siya magtatagal. Ayun, yun lang. So, the rest actually, nag-stand out talaga si Infinix S4 kumpara kay A5S sa camera, sa, even sa battery ha. Knowing na ito yung 4,000 lang at ito yung 4,230 pero nangigibabaw pa rin to. And sa speed, mas maganda yung speed nito and ano pa, Gaming, maganda, maganda yung, mas maganda yung resolution niya. Even sa processor techies, mas mabilis siya kasi nga, Pi na rin yung Android version niya and then Octa-Core siya, ayun. So, nakaka-amaze lang yung performance nito. Bago pa lang siya na brand, pero nagkikipag-compete na talaga siya sa mga, ayun, sa mga mas kilala na natin. Ayan, so surprising talaga, ba So, anyway, 
yun lang techies yung masasabi ko sa comparison na to. Again, I hope you guys na enjoy kayo sa comparison na to. And I hope you guys will leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video to your friends. And comment down below if you have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all techies. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!